Hey, quick thoughts for you as we head into the weekend. Uh, so two things. Uh, first, um, the stock market. You know, a lot of people are wondering, has the past few weeks, has that been just a bounce that uh, cannot be counted on? Is the market going to fall further? Uh, so with that, being, with that being the case, you know, the market right now, we've already got monetary policy. We've already got stimulus. We've, we've gotten fiscal policy. A tremendous amount of sellers have already sold um, in March. Uh, so in terms of what is going to be the market's response from here, uh, I really think it is just entirely dependent on the virus. Uh, there's, there's not any other magic bullet and there's not, not really any other uh, factor to consider other than uh, are we making progress with vaccine? Are we making progress with treatment? Are we making progress with opening uh, the country in a safe manner? Uh, that's, that's what the market wants to see. There's uh, everything else is noise at this point. Uh, second thought. So, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of chatter, a lot of people thinking there's no way that the market could truly recover this fast. There's no way that uh, the market's not going to fall in another huge, huge manner. And I would be careful thinking about that. So from the beginning, you know, my stance has been pretty, pretty even this whole time that uh, if you're a long-term investor and the market falls like we've seen, this is an opportunity. Um, so if you're in your 401k or if you do happen to have any cash, uh, take advantage of this opportunity. It's not normal uh, to be able to buy at 20, 30% discounts. Um, and so remember the average discount on a yearly basis, average drop is about 13, 14%. So getting 20 to 30%, uh, that's unique. You wanna take advantage of it. Now, you know, again, a lot of people concerned that there's no way that the market is not gonna fall substantially further from here. Look how bad the economy looks right now. Remember this, the economy is not the stock market, and it's critical that you delineate between those two. Uh, let me repeat that. The economy is not the stock market. So a um, couple, different, couple different really uh, troubling things that we've seen with the economy. Uh, unemployment rate is, is, it, it is scary. There's no other way to put it. Uh, for us to this quickly fall into this, uh, this, this high of an unemployment rate, uh, it's, it's jarring. Um, now that unemployment rate, as you can imagine, that is, that is largely service workers. So, uh, you, you haven't really seen a whole lot of fortune 500 companies, um, that have, that have already initiated substantial layoffs. So we, we're not seeing a whole lot of white collar with 401k match type jobs that are, that are being lost at this point. Um, that certainly could happen down the road at this point. It really hasn't been those jobs. Um, now, second, second thought there. So other scary um, statistic that's, that's been coming out is uh, small businesses. So small businesses, I think this was Bank of America uh, that came out uh, earlier this week, uh, about 25% of all of Bank of America's small business loans are now in deferment. So uh, deferring payments, small businesses, about 25% are deferring payments on their small business loans. Uh, that is a huge number. That is, uh, again, it's, it's, it's jarring. Um, now, back to my point, though, the economy is not the stock market. Uh, when you think about the publicly traded stocks all throughout the U.S. and, and the world, um, there's a very big difference between un unemployment rate that is largely service workers and uh, small businesses and publicly traded companies. So theoretically, unemployment rate could be really, really high um, small, small businesses throughout the U.S. could really struggle. And that has a big impact on the economy. That's, that's you, you don't want to, obviously you don't want to experience that. Um, so that's very negative for the economy. Not necessarily a dire signal for the stock market as a whole. Um, and so just because uh, we're seeing some of these uh, headlines does not mean that the stock market's going to react to it. And remember, the stock market is a leading indicator many times uh, so the market often falls before the economy officially hits recession, and the market also often rebounds uh, before the greater economy rebounds. And so critical that you remember that uh, because, like I mentioned, uh, this lockdowns could uh, extend further, uh, the economy could struggle further, and the further that lockdowns extend, the more that is going to impact uh, more of those white-collar jobs and the greater stock market publicly traded companies as a whole. We don't know if that's going to happen, though. Um, again, the virus is, is what the market's concerned about right now. 
and uh, small businesses and uh, uh, service workers can be laid off. And that does not necessarily mean that the market as a whole is going to plummet further. Uh, we've already seen a 34% decline. That is unique. That is rare. Um, often uh, we only hit that uh, every five or six years. And on average, 34% is worse than average. Uh, so on average, since World War II, uh, every five or six years, we see a 28 to 30% drop. Uh, and remember, uh, late March, we went past that level already. So don't know where it's going to go from here, but um, uh, that's, uh, that's the things we need to be focused on.